Chicago State University has been playing baseball on the south side for more than 50 years, and they have a beautiful $2.5 million stadium to play in. But last week, budget cuts left that baseball program permanently on the bench, and our Mad Zon tells us those players are not going quietly. This is a fight that will not end today. This is called the movement. Former Cougars player Reginald Brock is the one leading this fight to save the Chicago State baseball program. His son was going to be a senior on the team next year. Devastated. It was horrible. Uh, and the reasons that they gave us, they didn't even question us. They didn't reach out to us. Very disappointing, honestly. It's, uh, it was unprofessional how they did it. So, you know, the university not telling us and having an uh, anonymous source tell us is kind of just, you know, not the right way to go about it. It's my opinion that um, the administration was not honest with, with at least the, the players and their families. And when a player who's been here for however many years is trying to get an answer about his future and you're not communicating that, what, what are we doing here? The team and its supporters still hold out hope that this brand new baseball field won't stay empty, that they can do something to convince the university to bring the program back. I have a lot of hope. Like I said, this is a movement. So I hope they reconsider and we're not going anywhere. The university spokesperson admitted they did mishandle communication with the team. As far as hope for bringing the program back, is there a possibility? Yeah, we understand that this is definitely a challenging time for the students and, and me personally, like our hearts are, are with them. Um, I don't see, um, you know, that decision being made um, to reverse that decision anytime soon. At Chicago State, Matt Zahn, CBS 2 News.